Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, Percentage Mass. Calculating a percentage mass in chemistry is one of those skills which seems kind of intimidating, a bit like working out a formula mass here, or working out a percentage yield. But actually, all three of these skills are pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Now you need to make sure you can work out a percentage first. So let's get rid of these and have a look at doing that. Uh, whenever you work out a percentage in your GCSE science, it's pretty much always going to come out between zero and 100%. It would be extremely unusual if it came out as more than 100% because that would mean that something impossible was happening usually. So for example, in efficiency, it would mean you were getting more energy out than you were putting in. Or in this case, it would mean that part of a molecule weighed more than the entire molecule, which obviously doesn't make any sense. So, quickly recapping how you work out percentage, you're going to have a small number, and that's going to be on the top of your fraction, and you're going to divide that by a large number on the bottom of your fraction. and then multiply the whole lot by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So as I say, this should come out as a number between 0 and 100. So to work out what the relative mass of an element within a molecule is, it's very simple. Let me show you a worked example so you can see how. In this example, we're going to look at the compound ethene, which has the formula C2H4. And we're going to look at what percentage of its total mass is made up by the carbon atoms. As I demonstrate in the video on formula mass, which you can see if you click just here, we can calculate that the formula mass of an ethene molecule is 28. Since each carbon atom has a mass of 12, and from the formula we know that there's two of them, we know that the mass as a result of the carbon atoms is two lots of 12, or 24. So we want to know what those 24 mass units that are from the carbon are as a percentage of the overall 28 mass units for the total formula. So to work out our percentage, remember, it's the small number divided by the large number. In this case, 24 divided by 28. You then multiply that by 100%, and if you check this on your calculator to make sure you can do it properly, you should get an answer of 85.7%. And that's all there is to the process of working out a percentage mass. Really, it all hinges upon this percentage calculation. That's the key bit which you need to know, how to do one of these. And since it crops up quite a lot in your science GCSE, it is an important bit that you need to know. Remember, it's always going to be the small, uh, small number on the top and the large number on the bottom. And so you just type that as a divide into your calculator, multiply it by 100, and you should get the right answer out each time. Typically, they'll even give you the formula mass in the question, so you won't even need to do quite as much working out as I've got here. Typically, you'll just get the numbers, put them into this calculation, and you should be uh, sorted with the question. Easy marks, really. Really easy marks. You do need to know a couple of things about why this is important to us. Firstly, a formula like this, C2H4, has been worked out by looking at this sort of process and working backwards, by looking at the percentages and working them out using raw data experimentally and working backwards. All you need to really know is that we can use this process to work out a formula. You don't need to be able to do that. You just need to know that it can be done. You also need to know that this can be calculated uh, from the various values around one of these and the various values of the amount of atoms in a balanced equation. You don't need to be able to do that either. All you need to know, again, is that it can be done that from a balanced equation we can work out the percentage mass and we can use percentage masses to go backwards and work out what a formula is. I hope that video was helpful to you. If it was, click just here to watch a related video. If you click just here, then you can see all of my videos on all of the different topics that I've covered. If you click just here, you can download my Android app to help you with your revision. Or if you click just here, then you can subscribe to my channel and get updated every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to leave comments and likes below. Uh, good luck in your GCSEs, and thanks very much for watching.